Hey everybody, happy Friday. It's uh, Friday, July 24th, time for Facebook Friday. I've missed you guys. I was gone for a couple of weeks and I'm back. So I'm excited to see you guys. Um, I'm gonna give everybody just a couple of minutes, make sure I'm in the right place. If you're watching in the replay, hello to you as well. I know that um, a lot of you do crafting on the weekends and you pull up the videos on the weekend. Um, so that's great. I, I hopefully will be crafting this weekend too. We have a tropical storm headed our way. Not sure if it's gonna make it this far, but I'm hoping it's gonna be rainy and dreary because then that means I can just stamp and not feel guilty, right? Hey Susan, how are you? Good to see you. Okay, so it looks like I'm in the right place. Let me pull my iPad over. Um, my iPad was dead as a doornail and I plugged it in and apparently I didn't plug it in well enough because it was still dead <laughs> just a minute ago. So now it's tethered to the wall and I'm going to have to hopefully be able to see you guys, um, and see your comments. Okay. Hold on just a second. Yes. Post this. Da, 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 da. All right, so how is everybody from France, Sarah? Oh, how nice. Hello to you over in France. Boy, that sounds like an exotic place right now to be anywhere but here. <laughs> um, you guys, I was just, I meant to open this um, before I started my live. Uh, this one's Paper Pumpkin was called uh, Summer Nights, and I just got mine yesterday, and I haven't even opened it, but I have seen it online, and it is super cute, and I always order extras because there is inevitably somebody out there who forgets to subscribe or change your subscription or something happened, um, so I have some extra kits. If you want one, um, please email me and I will be happy to sell it to you. Um, I usually only do my one kit. I don't do more than one, but this one's really special this month. I'm gonna open it and show you. Because there's an add-on available where you can get additional pro uh, products, additional materials to make more projects using the same um, products that are in here. It's so cute. Um, well, I guess I'll just open it all the way. Uh, summer Nights. Is, I love that theme, but look at these. Oh, this is beautiful. This looks like a watercolor something, right? That you put salt on, my favorite technique. But anyway, here's what it looks like. Here's the kit. It has all kinds of stuff in it. It also comes, it always comes with a stamp set. We've got little fireflies. Looks like maybe like a firework. Oh, and the little jar, so cute. And some great sentiments. And let's see what color. Ooh, Blackberry Bliss this month. So if you need a paper pumpkin kit from July, message me, all right? I have extras. And here's the information on the extra um, kit that you can get to go with it. All right, I didn't wanna to forget to tell you guys that. I meant to open it before. So today we're gonna to do Arrange a Wreath. Again with the name. I don't know. I don't like the name of this stamp set. It doesn't roll off the tongue, but it's super cute. It's one of my favorites. Um, what I like about it is that it can go all year. It's got things for fall, things for summer, things for uh, Thanksgiving, Easter. It's got Easter eggs. So it's really, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, you can use it all year. Why are words so hard for me? Once I go live, it's like I can't remember anything. Here are the dies. Look at the dies. There's a ton of them. They barely fit on my magnet card. But anyway, that's what we're going to do today. I've got three projects for you. And if you have never joined me, I always type up a PDF that looks just like this. It has all three of the projects. Um, and it also, well, I printed out an extra sheet for some reason. Um, it always has... If you're wondering what, what a product name, number, whatever, and then it has the measurements that you need, okay? And I wanna point this out right here because I do believe I have barely even spoken about bonus days. You guys, it's bonus days, versatile, <laughs> thank you. That's the word I was looking for, versatile. Why, why does our brain do that? Like suddenly the word just disappears. And the older I get, the more that happens. Anyhow, I know that's normal, whatever, it still kind of freaks me out. Um, 
Oh, Nina, you just ordered your bundle today. Good. Well, I've got several ideas. In fact, I've got two extra ideas that I'll post next week to actually made five projects. Uh, but anyway, the PDF is here, pinkbuckaroo.com. Scroll to the last picture, and it's a link right under the third picture. Um, it has all the details that you'll need. Um, let's go through a few things before we get started stamping. I do, so it's bonus days, okay? What are bonus days? Renee, good. That makes me feel better. I'm not alone. <laughs> bonus days are um, all of July. And in fact, you know what? Let me look. I realized last night that bonus days actually goes through August. Where did I see that? August 3rd? And did I dream that? Because it doesn't say on here. I thought it was all of July, but I think bonus days goes through July 3rd. Hmm. Now suddenly I, I don't know if I did I dream that. We'll look online and I'll let you know. But bonus days means for every $50 you spend in July, you get a $5 coupon. Then in August, you can spend them. And they're cumulative. So let's say you spent $500 over the month of July. You would have 10 coupons, right? That would be $50. And you apply that to your purchase in August. And you can use it all in one order. There's not like restrictions, like only one coupon. Don't you hate that when you go shopping and you have um, coupons? I can't think of where it is that I do that. It, oh, Old Navy. They'll give you that, you know, they give you those bonus bucks or whatever, and then you go to try to use them and you can only use so many on an order. Ugh, makes me mad. But these are not like that. You can use them all in one order, okay? Eleanor, August 3rd. I didn't dream that. Okay, good. So bonus days goes through August 3rd. August 4th, you can start redeeming them. So that's kind of weird, right? Why August 4th? Well, that's because that's when this catalog goes live. The holiday catalog are you guys ready for the holiday catalog? It's like a thousand degrees outside and here we are. I was actually finally playing with some of my pre-order stuff yesterday and it was super weird because it's July and I'm making Christmas projects. But I know a lot of us like to get a jump start on it. So it's coming out a whole month early. So beginning August 4th, you can start ordering from this. You earn the, the coupons through the third and then the fourth, the next day, you can turn around and use them on your first purchase here on the catalog, okay? Um, I mailed out a bunch of these and I have already heard from many of you that you've received yours. If you need one, please let me know. I can, you guys there, I had them go, uh, come directly from Stampin' Up. They're sending them for me. So they go like media mail, which, you know, is like the slow boat, even slower than the regular boat. So if yours hasn't arrived and you think that I probably sent you one, it, I pretty much send them to anybody who'd ordered from me in the last year. Um, message me and we'll find out. And if not, I'm happy to send one to you, okay? Kathy's so hot in South Carolina. I know, it's hot. It's the dog days. It's getting ready to be the dog days. Oh, I hate August, it's the worst. So that's August 4th. I think next Friday we'll do some sneak peek projects. I think. Um, what did I just see? Christine said something about Halloween. I'm glad they advanced it from September. It's way, it is way better for Halloween, right? Because I do always feel like a little rush to get that going. Yeah, the Halloween stuff is so cute. Okay, so that's coming. Um, let's see, where do I wanna go? Okay, how about my new class? I haven't posted it yet, but it's ready to start taking registrations. Um, I'm gonna post it on my blog tomorrow, but if you know you wanna register for this, um, uh, Shelly, you haven't gotten your demonstrator catalog yet. Shelly, message me. I'll mail you one. You don't need to wait. That's crazy. Um, mail, you guys. I mailed um, on Monday all of my um, Club Create kits, right? Is that what I mailed on Monday? And today, they're still not where they need to be, a lot of them. And they went priority mail. So mail is just super duper slow. Um, okay, my August class to go is, oh, and I pulled the stamp set out because I used it to make some birthday cards. Playful Pets. You guys, it's so cute. Um, the Playful Pets bundle. Where did I put that stamp set? Did I put it away? I must have put it away. But it has, you know, the dog and the cat. It's very cute. Um, the class has four cards. Two are fancy folds. And then it has um, a 3D treat box. But also, look at this, a fire hydrant candy dispenser. 
It's so cute, if I do say so myself. It's so cute. So this is the class to go for August. Um, if you would like the information on it, just message me. Um, I'm also going to link it here um, in the post. You know, uh, I wasn't going to have that post go live until tomorrow, but now I'm thinking it needs to go live today so you guys can see it. Anyway, message me and I will send it, okay? So if you want the Playful Pets class, I have a video on it too. The details are coming out probably tomorrow, all right? So anyway, there will be four choices with the bundle, without the bundle, my downline kit, and um, PDF only, okay? It's so cute. All right, I'm going to put that over here. Whoops, tripping on things. I'm going to put that over there. Sorry, Charlie. Charlie is asleep down here, and he doesn't appreciate me waking him up. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie's my dog, one of them, the grouchy one. Okay, so now there's another really important thing I need to tell you. The All-Star Tutorial Bundle, this is this month. It's um, 12 projects for the Peony Garden Suite. And you get this for free if you spend $50 with me in um, July. You get it free if you're on my team. But there's another way to get it. You can buy it in my PDF store. They're always in my PDF store. Or you can subscribe. And July is the only month that you can subscribe, get a subscription. And when you get the subscription, you pay for five months and you get the sixth one for free. So, Christine, yes, I'll answer that in just a second. I gotta remember to answer that. So this month, if you wanna subscribe, you'll get from now through December, for the price of now through November, if that makes sense. You can pay monthly or you can pay all in one lump sum. And I deliver them straight to your mailbox the very first of every month. I am like clockwork with that. And then I, if you place an order with me, I mail them out about once a week to everybody who's put in um, a qualifying order. So this month's is the Peony Garden. Christine, next month is um, Tasteful Textures. Is that what it's called? Tasteful Textures from a the annual catalog? I always feel like that's not the name. Tasteful Textures. You know what I'm talking about? The one that was in pre-order. Very beautiful. The wood grain paper. Yeah. Okay, so here's this month. Every month we're picking a bundle and doing 12 projects. There's 12 different designers from all over the world. Australia, Europe, um, and the United States. Um, and we all design one project. Here's mine this month sneak peek and there's 11 others so if you're interested in that I will have the link on that here in the video description when I'm done today I'm going to go back and add all the links here and you can also find it on my blog too okay Trisha that's right tasteful textures and then one of them's called I'm using the paper today the paper's called something else isn't it um where is it in good taste in Good Taste Designer Series Paper, Tasteful Textures Bundle. Oh, <laughs> it's a mouthful. All right, all right, announcements, announcements. Okay, good, good, good. How about some prizes? Last week, it wasn't last week, it was two weeks ago, um, I said I would pick two winners from those that shared the video on Facebook to win the Timeless Tropical Bundle, and I have two winners, Karen Colburn, and Jessica Diaz. Jessica, I have your mailing address unless it's changed. And Karen, I don't think I have yours. Message me your address because I want to get these out to you so you can use them for the summer, okay? The timeless tropical stamps and dyes. Really good prizes. Okay, oh, who said that? Catherine, thank you. She says the tutorials are wonderful. Thank you. You know what I didn't mention about those tutorials now? Um, starting this month, they all have videos. So instead of reading the directions, they all have a link to a video for each project, which sometimes is easier um, to follow a video with, especially with those 3D projects. Okay, now this week's prize, this week's giveaway. Let's see if I can open it. I have two mini trimmers, the little mini trimmers. I have two of them to give away. So if you would like a mini trimmer, if you would like to be entered in the drawing, please share my face, my video on Facebook, all right? Okay, let's move that out of the way, and I think we're ready. Now, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, today we're doing Arrange a Wreath, and I'm glad you guys love those videos and the tutorials. It's a, it's a, it's a lot of work, but it is, I, I love that I can offer that to you guys. Um, arrange a Wreath. 
that's what we're doing today, three projects, um, PDF at pinkbuckaroo.com. If you like the projects today and you'd like for me to send you the make and takes for free, you can put in an order, stampnup.com, $35 minimum using the host code that you'll see when I flip down the camera. It's also right here on the PDF and on my blog post. Do I have the right one? Yeah, <laughs> suddenly I panicked. There's the host code right there, okay? Um, so any order between now and Monday at midnight um, that is over $35 will earn you all three make and takes for free. And this is what they look like when I mail them to you. They're little kits, here's last week's. Little kit, like a little craft kit that comes to your mailbox that has a little thank you tag in it. All right, so it's kind of fun. Um, I know some of you order almost every week to get those little craft kits in the mail, and I greatly appreciate that. Please know, of course my cabinet is all full and I have no place to put this. Please know that when you order for Facebook Friday, you can order anything you want. I don't care what you order. Um, as long as it meets that $35 minimum and it uses a host code unless your order is over $150, do not use the host code because then you get stamp and rewards. I try to mention this every week, but I forget because some people don't know. $150, look in your catalog at the back page, 187, 187. You get stamp and rewards starting at $150. So if you put your order in and you want the free make and takes and your order is let's say $160, don't use a host code, You'll Stampin' Up's gonna give you $15 in free stuff and I will still send you the projects for free. I will see your order, okay? Okay. All right, I'm gonna flip you guys down and then we're gonna get started. Um, let's see, do, 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 what do I wanna do first? All right, close your eyes. Everybody close your eyes. I'm, I'm reading comments, Christine. Thank you, Helen, we had a great vacation. Although, on my, our last day of vacation, I found out that our school district is not opening in August, like they said they were, and it kind of put a damper on my whole attitude. Can you guys still hear me? I just plugged in that microphone. I want to make sure you can hear me. So my kids will be distance learning through at least September 7th. I feel like it's going to go on much longer than that, and I'm sick to my stomach about it, you guys. But that's neither here nor there. We will not talk about it. Only fun things. So you guys can hear me? Okay, Renee says yes, Patricia. Okay, good. Okay, so, but it was good overall. It was very relaxing. I laid in the pool for like two days straight. It was wonderful. It was amazing. Um, it was time, it was good to just be with the kids, be with my parents, and just relax. All right, I'm gonna flip back on, in this catalog real quick. I had opened up to that page and then I closed it. Um, the Arrange a Wreath bundle is on page 127. Let's go over there because I want to show you that I have actually cased one of those cards today but made it into a fancy fold so it's a little fancier. Okay so here it is 127. Um, this is one of the cards that we're going to do. See how it's similar but not exactly the same. Look how cute the little Easter um, wreath is. So what I really love about this stamp set is that it's What's the word? Versatile, thank you very much. <laughs> and it has Christmas, um, Christmas, Easter, best wishes, give thanks, really happy heart day. I mean, that can take you, that can run the gamut. And with a new catalog coming out, um, you can even use like little pumpkins from one of the stamp sets, spiders, you know, you could do whatever. Um, it just really has a lot of, I think, a lot of opportunity to, uh, to use throughout the year. Okay, we're going to make this one first, and I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks along the way. Let me grab my tray, and I did um, do clean recordings today. I got those done, so those will be linked on my YouTube, I mean on my, they are on YouTube, they will be linked on my blog post today, because sometimes you want to come back and make the project, and it's annoying to have to... <laughs> go through a whole Facebook Live to find, you know, one or two things you wanted to see. So those clean recordings are there. Um, okay, so we're going to make this card. And I have to, a little caveat is this was the original one I made, Soft Suede, Soft Suede. 
and I'm totally out of soft suede cardstock. How does that happen? So I've changed it um, to early espresso. So if you get the kit, I have ordered soft suede and hopefully yours will come in soft suede. All right, what do we wanna do first? I think we're gonna do our die cutting first. And let me pull over the two wreaths that we're gonna do, these. Oh, my iPad is telling me low battery, but you're plugged in iPad. You shouldn't be telling me that. Hold please. Hmm, it's down to 3%. I don't know, you guys. I've got to just bite the bullet and buy a new iPad. Okay, so we're going to use those two. And do you guys, is this a quail? I think it's a quail. I'm calling it a quail. We're going to do the quail. And we're also going to do this bow. And we're going to do something kind of cool with the bow. We're going to make it thick and look like um, a chipboard sticker. Now, you guys know <laughs> me and liquid glue are not great friends, right? We make a mess. So whenever I can now, I'm, I'm going to use these adhesive sheets. This is new adhesive from Stamping Up. And I thought this was the perfect opportunity to do that. If you were to look at my first one closely, you would see that I made a mess because I did not use the adhesive sheet. Now, in the next projects, we won't use the adhesive sheets. You can use glue dots. And if you're really careful, you can use your liquid glue. Um, but I really like being able to use these adhesive sheets. So we're gonna cut out, let me peel off these um, papers. The adhesive sheets turn your die cuts into stickers. But the thing is you have to remember to put the adhesive uh, sheet on your cardstock before you die cut it. That's the only problem with me I can't ever remember. All right, we're gonna cut one of the wreaths out of crumb cake cardstock. We're gonna cut the other one out of bumblebee cardstock. And we're gonna cut those bows out of soft suede. I did have scraps for that. Okay, I'm gonna put that back down. These adhesive sheets are pretty different from the ones that we had before because they have those segments like that. So it's kind of taken me some time to get used to that, but I do like it. I, 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 uh, I like that it's like that. All right, now I'm just gonna cut around and, and you, that way you can really, I mean, if you're like me and you save everything, you can save this uh, remaining piece of adhesive sheet for small things, okay? Right now I'm gonna set that aside. And then now we've got these and they're gonna have the sticker backs, okay? So before we bring over the die cut, let's stamp our quail partridge in a pear tree, Kathy. Maybe, maybe, but I think it looks like fall, you know, like a, a fall quail. Cr um, Cajun craze. Raise your hand if you don't like Cajun craze. Some people do not like that color and I like it for fall. You know, it's rusty. It's a good fall color. Okay, now let me get my mess out of here. We're going to bring the die cut machine over. Speaking of die cut machines, you guys, the new die cut machine from Stamping Up is coming. Uh, demonstrators are going to get to pre-order it um, in, uh, let's see, can I, I guess I can't. Last time I was able to get that all together. Um, demonstrators can pre-order that, well, let's do both of them at the same time. Demonstrators are going to be able to pre-order the new die cut and emboss machine in August and customers are going to be able to order it in September. So if you're like me and your big shot or die cut machine, whatever you have is a mess, just hold on. It's coming and they say it is amazing. I can't wait. Now, if you notice, I went through like four times. That's because these are pretty intricate dies and I wanna make sure all the cutting surfaces cut. And because I put the stickers on the back, it made it a little thicker too. So I needed to cut through all those layers. So we've got that. Now, we're gonna take that bow and we're gonna cut it three times, okay? You guys like Cajun Craze, ooh, with Mango Melody, Kathy, I like that. I love Mango Melody a lot. It is one of my favorite colors. Um, it's not orange, it's not yellow, it's both. <laughs> I really like it. Um, but I, I don't think I've used it with Cajun Craze. I'll have to try that out. Um, terracotta Tile, it's a good fall color, Renee, yes. Mm -hmm, agreed, yes. You either, well, I think you either love Cajun Craze or you hate it. At least that's what it seems like to me. Um, I know several friends who are not fans. 
<laughs> of, a, of the Cajun craze. Okay, now we'll put that bow back on the sheet. Somebody asked me what the size of these were just a minute ago. I saw that scroll by. I think they're six by four. And I order these from Stampin' Storage. Six and a half by, I was totally wrong. <laughs> six and a half by six. That seems like a weird, that seems weird. Yeah, six, six and a half by six. They, they come in different sizes, but that seems to be the best size for me. Um, you can use other things too. You can use dryer, no, no, not dryer, um, vent covers, um, magnetic vent covers. You can find it like the hardware store. Um, I've heard those work really good. And then I know that there are some even on Amazon, but I don't know anything about the quality or anything. Um, but it's, that's how I store my die cuts. But I will tell you, you know, I really haven't found a wonderful way to store my die cuts. I don't like you know, having to flip through and sometimes they fall down. I used to have a wall in my other room that had all my die cuts on there, but now I have too many. That would, that would not work because I have way too many. Okay, so we're gonna set this aside and we're gonna do a little bit of stamping on the white piece, which, where did it go? It's right here. And I'm gonna use my Stamparatus for this because this is a big stamp. Now look. Here's this, and we're gonna need that later. I'm gonna put that there so I don't forget about it. Um, I like to use my Stamparatus the most for background stamps, um, but for big stamps too, especially, you know, if you're like me, when you stamp a big stamp, sometimes you don't get a good image. Like there's somewhere on there that didn't stamp right. So if you use your Stamparatus, you can stamp again, and it'll be right in the same place. Now the only trick is to not pull up your paper with your photopolymer. There, that did a pretty good job. You wanna just make it a little less sticky. And if you just kinda of do that, it'll get less sticky as time goes by. All right, so we're gonna do, yeah, we're gonna do soft suede. I know the cardstock is early espresso, but they're good. Thanks for sharing. I appreciate that, Dawn and Alyssa. Um, Lisa says, that I think the vent covers aren't strong enough. Yeah, the vent covers, I have heard that about the vent covers. They're not strong enough. But they, um, you know, can be a good solution if you're on a budget. You know, if you don't want to spend a lot of money on it. Let's see how I did. Didn't do very well. Let's do that again. That's why I like using the Stamparatus. So I can just lay it back down and stamp where it didn't stamp. All right, now we're going to stamp the... Um, give thanks, which is on the other tray. Give thanks in soft suede down here, like that. Close that up, and we're gonna emboss this. We're gonna emboss it with a pine wood planks embossing folder. Gotta get this one out and fold this one in. This is just the standard platform. The new die cut machine, um, from what I understand, is similar in design, um, in the fact that it, it cranks, has a plate, all of that, but it's really sturdy and looks really, really, really cool. There's gonna be a mini die cut and emboss machine, but it's not ready yet, it'll be out later. All right, so I embossed it with a Pinewood Planks folder. It's probably my favorite embossing folder. And I think we're ready to assemble. All right, so now, when you remove these, you have to be very careful and go slow because this one especially, this little wreath here, is very delicate and it will rip. And I rip it about <laughs> half the time. Um, in one of my clean recordings today, you will witness that I ripped it in half, but you can still, you know, piece it back together on your card um, if you do that. But just go slow and peel it. Be patient. I'm usually like in a hurry. Let's go, get it off. All right, come on. I like how the sticker will just stay there, the backing of the sticker. All right. There we go. And we're gonna set that right on there. We're gonna pretend that I didn't smear the ink when I pulled the magnet off. We're just gonna pretend like that didn't happen because I'm gonna cover it up anyway. <laughs> 
I, y'all, m- maybe you wouldn't have even noticed. I don't know. But I noticed immediately. All right, now this one. Let's see if we can get that backing to come off. Be gentle when you're removing. There we go, got it started. You just have to get that sticker started. Look, I did it, I pulled it apart. I knew it was gonna happen. It's delicate. I'm just too strong for the paper, I guess. (laughs) Okay, now that's all right. It could be a garland, right? You could rip it and make it a garland instead of a wreath. Okay, now that's all right. We're just gonna come down here where we have a little opening in the adhesive and we're gonna start pulling that off. Okay, I hope you guys, I've been showing the adhesive sheets quite a bit, so I hope you guys have added them to your order at some point because they are really, really good. I think I've kind of become addicted to them. I wanna use them on all the projects. Hey Gail, thanks for sharing, I appreciate that. All right, I'm gonna piece this together like this so that this little ripped part is gonna be under the quail. Not that you would even notice it anyway, but I'm gonna do that just because. There we go. Okay, now we've got some linen thread, but I want to get, this is another thing that I have become completely and utterly addicted to, the foam adhesive sheets. It's like a giant dimensional and let's make sure it's not too big. It is a little bit too big. Um, I just love that I can cut dimensionals whatever size I want them. All right, so I'm gonna take linen thread. I'm gonna wrap it around about three times, my four fingers. Then I'm gonna pinch it in the middle. Okay, and kind of, we don't want it too symmetrical. We're gonna put it right there. I'm gonna take my piece of my foam adhesive sheet and put that right on top of that. It's gonna hold it in place, but it's also gonna hold our partridge, quail, whatever you wanna call it. There you go, see that? It's a double duty adhesive, right? It's holding the thread and the quail. Okay, now we're almost done with this project, the bows. Do you guys remember, and they probably are still around, but when I was a big scrapbooking person 10, 12 years ago, well, maybe not that long ago even, there were these things called thickers. Do you guys remember the thickers? They're probably still out there. Um, But they were like chipboard alphabet, chipboard um, stickers and stuff. And so I like to occasionally make my own thickers just with cardstock. You can do three or four layers. And because it has that adhesive, we're not gonna have any trouble putting it together like that. And we've got one more here. And probably four layers would be really good, but I'm just gonna do three today. All right. Let's see, this one goes here, like that, and like that. And then it already has the sticker part on it, so we really don't even need to put adhesive. I'll stick it there. Mm, I don't know, do I not like that? How did I have it over there? I guess I had it down a little bit like that. All right. Ta-da! Now, we got to put it on a card base. We're not done yet. And I'm going to do this. And, you know, maybe some of you think this is wasteful, but I don't care. I love doing this with these foam adhesive strips. Look. It's like it's just I don't know I love it and you know we have those foam adhesive strips these are the foam adhesive sheets the strips are are taller these are the same exact height as our dimensionals look ta-da done so a full card but you know it could be a partridge in a pear tree just change the the wreaths to different greens like evergreen right I don't know what color would be a partridge in a pear tree Would he be, what color would he be? Gold, I don't know. All right, there we go, we've got three of them. If you wanna make this and you need to watch that again, remember there will be a clean recording over on YouTube and my blog, okay? All right, I'm missing, oh Gail, the thickers are still around. Oh, you still scrapbook? You know, I pretty much don't anymore. And my youngest wants to know why her sisters have way more scrapbook books and pages than she does. (laughs) 
<laughs> uh, I wish it would make a comeback. I do, I do. All right, now let's move on to a fancy fold. Let me see, what do I need over here? I don't need this, I don't need that. Let me get all of this out of the way. Put that up there, this over here. I gotta make some room. Okay, this card is a case from the catalog. I showed you this card a minute ago that was in the catalog, but it was just a plain card. So I decided to make it a fun fold. It's different orientation too. I think it's this way in the catalog, but it opens up. And of course, we have to do sunflowers because they're so cute. I love sunflowers. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do with this one. Let's, let's see, what do we wanna do first on this one? I think we'll do the card base first. This is Smoky Slate and we're gonna emboss. Oh, you know, this is just a card base. It's half a sheet of cardstock cut at five and a half and then scored at four and a fourth. I cut off I, oh, two inches, I believe. It's on that PDF. Where did my ruler go? Let's measure it just so that I can be sure. Two, what's over here? Oh, I cut off one and three fourths. So then it's two and a half. Okay, so just cut off one and a fourth. It doesn't matter how much you cut off. It's still gonna do the same thing. We're gonna use the brick and mortar embossing folder this time. We're using two embossing folders this week. And I need to only get this panel embossed. So I'm gonna stick it in like this. So it goes, there's the fold there, but I'm gonna push it in just a little bit further because if you can see the embossed image stops before the edge. So we wanna make sure that it goes all the way to that, that crease. Okay, carefully put that on. I love a fun fold too, Cindy. Did I go far enough? Let's see. I did, okay, woo. That would have been bad if I hadn't. All right, there we go. I do love a fun fold. I like a simple fun fold. You know, I have done some, I have made some fun folds in the past, watching tutorials that were super duper complicated. And ugh, it's sometimes just, it's like you need an engineering degree, you know, to make some of those fun folds. But uh, I like these simple ones. Okay, so we're gonna put the Whisper Widen inside. Here's that paper I was talking about, the, oh, why can't I remember the name? Taste, mm -hmm, it is In Good Taste, the Barnwood. I need to just buy a pack of barnwood paper. We used to have that, remember? I'm gonna, this is two inches, and it's five and a fourth, and I scored it at one inch so that it will fit like this. I'm gonna flag this end, but if you've used this punch, you know that when you put it in, it takes off about three eighths of an inch off your paper. So I don't want that much taken. So I'm gonna just look at it and slide it down so that I see those corners and then punch, okay? I could have cut my paper a little bit longer, that wouldn't have been a problem, but that's the way it is. All right, my adhesive is way far in the corner. Now I'm gonna put adhesive on the front here, right like that, and I'm gonna fold it back and I'm gonna adhere that in the middle. You know, Sharon, I just stopped doing my stamp club with scrapbook pages and so few people, I'm putting this Whisper White down, sandwiching that in. So few people are interested when I offered the scrapbook option. Everybody, well, not everybody, a lot of people were choosing the card alternative. And, you know, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just was finding that it wasn't as you know, popular as it was a few years ago. Okay, so that's how it goes, just like that. All right, now let's do our die cutting. This time, we're not gonna use the adhesive sheets because the adhesive, if we did that, then we would have adhesive right here and right here, and that we don't want that. So we're gonna have to just do it the old fashioned way. All right, whoa, I almost dropped that. All right, let's see, we're gonna do Old Olive. We'll do this one in Old Olive. I think I can get both of these on here. Old Olive and Mossy Meadow. Don't those two colors look great together? Old Olive, Mossy Meadow. Okay, 
backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards. Let's see. Looks good. Looks good. There we go. Now, I forgot to stamp the centers of my sunflowers. So we'll do that before we start die cutting those. Um, this is early espresso and crumb cake. And I think it's funny, these little flower centers, they look like chocolate chip cookies when you cut them out. To me, they do. Okay, now let's get our dies. We need the sunflower right here. This is bumblebee cardstock and this whew, heart attack. I thought I lost it, which <laughs> would not be that unusual, unfortunately. All right. Hi, Susan. I'm glad you found me. Thanks for sharing. I do appreciate it. All right. I know I'm out of the frame, but I'm just moving these dies so we can cut them. You guys, little Pepper, our puppy, she got spayed on Monday and she was not a happy camper. But on Tuesday, she was totally back to her wild self. And she's not really a wild puppy. She's pretty chill, but you would have never known. She was crazy, like wanting to play, you know, bounding through the doggy door. I was like, oh my gosh, you're gonna rip your stitches. And so <laughs> the cone, you know, they give them the cone. She was not having it. She got that cone that the vet gave us off her head before I even got in the car. As the nurse was handing her to me, you know, we can't go in, they meet you at the door um, because of COVID. Um, but <laughs> the nurse was handing her to me, she ripped that cone off. So we had um, a cone, it's not really a cone, it's like a donut, you know, like a um, airplane pillow that you put around your neck. It's one of those. We had one of those for Charlie when he had his surgery a few years ago. Um, but she also was able to get that off immediately because it's too big. So my husband stopped on the way home from work on Monday, found something else. It was another little donut and it was small. So she kept that on for like a day and she was able to get that one off. Like the little stinker does not want to have, well, I mean, I wouldn't either, but it's like, oh my gosh. And when she's supposed to wear that thing for two weeks. I don't know how I'm gonna get it, get her to stay on it. Luckily, we have not seen her messing with with anything yet. But anyways, just a little update on Pepper for those of you that ask about her. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna use Tombow. I'm gonna use glue dots and my um my take your pick tool. And the glue dots, depending on where you put them, will show. You can't really see it there. There's a, there's some little, you know, where the branches meet the circle part. Um, it's pretty thick, so you can put your glue dots there. Um, but you can also, of course, do the Tombow. And I'm gonna put dimensionals on top here in a minute, which is gonna help hold everything in place. Well, where did that glue dot go? There it is, sticking to my finger, of course. I mean, I've just put my finger right where it was. All right, so we'll put that on there like that. I have that, hello, I have that on there for a reason. Hold it closed. All right, now let's do our um, sunflowers. And of course, right on cue, the delivery man is here in a Hertz truck. Isn't it weird how they are delivering in weird vehicles? Sometimes just a white van shows up and drops something off on the porch. It's weird. Weird times we're living in. Charlie's asleep. Will he hear the guy? Hopefully not. Charlie is my crazy, crazy dog. In case you haven't met Charlie, believe me, at some point you will meet him through his crazy barking. Okay, I don't like that there. I'm going to put it like that. Okay, now let's make sure we don't have anything sticking. Okay, those are many dimensionals. Now we're going to take the chocolate chip cookies, also known as a flower center. <laughs> And I'm gonna put those on with glue dots right there. Um, oh, well, hey, mom. Um, you know, so Millie, my mom's corgi, Millie, is Pepper's best friend. And Millie is having her surgery on August 3rd. So we figured exactly two weeks apart. Um, 
And Pepper, I'm supposed to keep her like still and not crazy. And so I didn't think she could play with with Millie. Mom, I think maybe next week she'll be she'll be okay. I'm trying so hard to keep her. I mean, I don't know, you know, I don't know. If she feels okay, you think it'd be okay, but things are healing. I don't know. I don't know. I know she misses Millie. I dropped Emma off at my mom's the other day and Pepper was with me because I was taking her back to the vet and she cried and cried and cried all the way because she didn't get to get out and play with Millie, her BFF. All right. Now I'm going to stamp this little, um, it's like a little wood slats, slatted wood sign. Um, and I'm going to do it in smoky slate. This one does not have a die, but that's okay. It's just a rectangle. It's not complicated. Um, you can just cut it out with your little trimmer or your scissors. It's very simple. Okay. So early espresso, give thanks again. I used the same sentiment twice. I thought a little like hello on this one would be cute too, but I didn't, I didn't look for a hello. All right. Now, last but not least, let's pull out my favorite ribbon, which is the Bumblebee Gingham. And I'm going to take, whoa, hello. I'm going to take this. I'm going to weave it through behind that one and then over. Okay, like that. And I'm going to do another little piece of my foam adhesive sheet. There's regular adhesive sheets and then there's foam adhesive. The foam adhesive is like the dimensionals. Okay, I'm going to put it down like that and then peel that off and put the sign there. Now, you could cut those little ends off. I was going to show you the difference. See right here? The first one I did it where I didn't, the ends aren't showing, but over here, I kind of you know, when I made this one today, I kind of like the ends hanging down. So you decide which way you want to do it. And there we go. A fun, fancy fold case from the catalog. So cute, isn't it? I mean, sometimes they make cards in the catalog that I'm like, I, I can't make anything else. I have to make that card. It's so cute. All right. Project two done. I'm glad you guys like it. Thank you. Now, of course, you know me and we have to do a 3D project. All right, so we're gonna make a treat box. My Alexa is telling me that there was a delivery. Oh, there she goes again. All right, here's the treat box. It's little and it's a rainbow of hearts. Happy heart day. That could be for Valentine's, right? Or it just could be whenever, I think. I don't think it has to be for Valentine's Day, but I made a little rainbow box using the bright colors again that I've become obsessed with lately. And inside is, has anybody seen these? A Hostess Triple Chocolate Brownie. Hello. Look, decadent chocolate chips in the middle. Delicious. You guys know I'm always on that aisle at the store when I go, the Hostess and Little Debbie aisle. So it says they're new. Got them at Walmart. Okay. I don't think, you know, Little Debbie has a snack finder on their website, but I don't know about Hostess. But Walmart, I mean, I would think if my Walmart has it, your Walmart would have it, right? Or you could just put Hershey Kisses or whatever in there. You don't have to, you don't have to put what I put. But I did make the box so that it would fit that brownie. Okay, now let's make the boxes and then we'll make the wreath. Um, you're going to need Whisper White Thick and uh, magenta madness okay um the measurements again are over there on that pdf remember on p at pinkbuckaroo.com all right this is the bottom the the bottom of the box it is four and three four square and we're going to score it one inch on all four sides okay now we're going to do the little shim trick which i had my post-its here they left grab five or six four or five post-its and put them on the side of your um, trimmer on your simply scored this will only work if you're going to do the same score line on all four sides okay so it creates just a tiny sliver of difference it's going to make your lid just a 
tiny bit bigger so that it'll slide down on that box bottom. Um, and you have to turn it every time, okay? So we're gonna do half an inch on all four sides. Half an inch, half an inch, half an inch. Like that. All right. Let's get my bone folder and we're going to assemble these. These are going to be the box and the bottom and the top are going to be made exactly the same way. You want to burnish those lines. And I think I'll do the bottom first because you'll be able to see it better. The lid is just, it's tricky only because it's small. The little corners are small. Okay, now take your scissors and cut the corners from score line to score line. Okay like that score line to score line there we go now on two sides it doesn't matter which two as long as it's the two opposite sides cut the score lines up to the horizontal score line and we have this really great adhesive this new adhesive called uh, stamp and seal plus and you know, I think I will use it. In the other video, I used Tombow. I am gonna use Tombow on this. Um, I like Tombow for boxes here in South Texas where it's humid. I find that even sometimes with my super strong tear and tape or the fast fuse, those boxes would pop off, but never with the Tombow. But for the sake of the video, let's just do Stamp and Seal Plus. If you haven't tried this, you know, we've got some great new adhesives. I am loving all the new choices we have. Stamp and Seal Plus is really good. Now you're gonna fold that in to the sides like that, okay? And there's your box bottom. It's pretty small, right? Where are my cupcakes? Where did they go? Here they are. Let's get one and put it in there. My daughter, Emma, is gonna love these. She's in the other room, she's probably thinking, what is she saying? She loves chocolate. Okay, there we go. Now, for the lid, we're gonna do the exact same thing. Cut off those corners, but you can see how this is gonna get small, and it would be really hard to use that Stamp and Seal Plus. The reason I cut the corners off is to help if your score lines are just a hair's, hair off, you know, for some reason mine are always just a tiny bit off for some reason. This cutting the corners off will make it so that if this is a little bit taller, it's not gonna poke up above there, okay? All right, so take your Tombow and don't go crazy, I'm telling myself that. Don't go crazy with your adhesive because it'll be too much. And then you're gonna do the same thing, except this time I have a little trick for you. I have these little mini clothespins from the Dollar Tree and I like to clip my, when I'm using liquid adhesive, because you know it takes a minute or two to really set and that way I can do something else. I don't have to stand here and hold it together. Okay, and there we go. Hi Becky, glad you, glad you uh, found us. Thanks for sharing. All right, so there. Now it's just gonna sit there and dry. When I come back and I'm ready for it, it'll be dry and everything will be stuck. Nothing will have popped while we were working. Okay, let's stamp our hearts. And let me show you the colors that we're gonna use. How, wait, I'm missing one. What happened? Mango, I had to re-ink it, it's over here. Okay, so our color scheme for this is Magenta Madness, Daffodil Delight, Mango Melody, Coastal Cabana, Gorgeous Grape. Okay, and they're from the bottom to the top. I wanna to start with that one. Now, one thing I really like, Stampin' Up! does this from time to time, is the stamp set comes, okay, I cannot get that off. The stamp set comes with two heart stamps and they're connected, all right? So that way you can stamp, you know, if you, like for this, you're gonna need more than one heart. So you've got two, you can stamp two at a time, but the die is like that also. So you can cut two hearts out at a time. I really like that. They did that with the pears and the Easter eggs. Really smart. All right, Magenta Madness. Oh, and you're gonna need your um, chamois. I just cleaned my chamois. 
Where did I put it? Did I actually put it away? That would be unusual. No, I didn't. Well, hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Look, I have this other one and it's dry. That's so weird. Is it here and I'm just looking at it? Well, darn it. Hold on. All right, well, I guess I'll just use a paper towel because that's not where I put it. I cleaned it and everything so it would be nice and clean for the video. I'll find it. I'll find it when we're done. I don't even have any water in here to make it wet. Okay, I don't like doing this. All right, Daffodil Delight. That's so weird. It's probably sitting in the kitchen where I cleaned it. Mango Melody. And my Mango Melody ink pad was super dry. Hopefully I inked it well. There we go. And oh, just got that under my nail. Coastal Cabana. Um, Nina, all I do to clean my chamois is put it in the water in the sink and squeeze, 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 squeeze until all the color comes out. Occasionally, I will put it in the washing machine um, by itself or with some towels, dark towels. Um, I do that occasionally um, just to, you know, give it a good wash. But you can just, you know, run it under the water in the sink and get it all out. And I will switch from cold to warm. Sometimes it gets, I don't know, sometimes it gets more color out with one or the other, depending on, I don't know, what colors are in there. It's, it's weird. It's not the same every time. Okay, so we've got that, and we've got the dyes. We're going to use this. The wreath is Granny Apple Green. We're going to cut two of them. And you're going to use this dye to cut out all your hearts, but... I did it ahead of time, so you guys didn't have to watch me cut all those out. I was thinking ahead today, because I knew that would kind of take a long time. All right, Granny Apple Green, and we will run it through. Danielle, I think that is where it is, in the kitchen, probably. Um, yeah, they can be washed, Alyssa. Um, I just throw it in my washing machine. I have dark towels. Our bathroom towels are dark, so I throw it in with those. Um, or by itself. I if Like when I do my retreat, I'll, I have six or seven dirty chamois. I just throw them all in together. Um, but yeah, you can totally, totally wash them in the washing machine. Okay, now let's bring the Stamparatus back over. Take that guy off, straighten everything up, and get our white square, which was right here. All right, I'm gonna put this right here. I can see where that stamp was before, but it doesn't matter because we took it off. So this is a two and five eighths by two and five eighths whisper white square. And this is not a clean stamp, so it's gonna leave a little bit of a mark. Ah, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. I'm gonna move it over just a bit. And I'm gonna pick it up like that. Oh, maybe it is clean. <laughs> now, I'm gonna use my markers. The reason I'm doing my Stamparatus with this tiny sentiment is because when I marker a stamp, sometimes it looks washed out when you stamp it. But I can do it twice. I can ink it, stamp it, ink it again, stamp it again, and then you will get that solid um, inked up image that you wouldn't necessarily get if you just did it one time. So Granny Apple Green on the Happy and the Day and Magenta Madness and the on the word heart. Okay. You just color directly onto your stamp. And yeah, see kind of washed out, but that's okay. We can do it again. We can ink it again. And stamp it one more time. It's so quiet here today. Yesterday was a wild day at my house. Some days are just wild. Kids were in and out, in and out, in and out. Dogs barking. Today, I've barely heard from them. I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. Okay. My youngest save, has been saving her money for months. 
to she wanted some virtual reality headset and it was literally like five hundred dollars and she has been saving she's been doing work for me she's doing work for my mom um saving 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 money and she <laughs> was watching it on amazon and it dropped um to uh, like 400 something and she had enough money she was so excited and so she ordered it i mean of course in my mind i'm thinking how in the world can you spend 400 dollars on that but hey she saved her money she did it and so it came yesterday and that was part of i think why yesterday was wild because the neighbor kids were in they wanted to see it she was all over the place with it watch mom watch oh, oh. but today i don't know she's upstairs she's quiet i shouldn't have said anything because now <laughs> you know i jinxed myself all right let's do tombow this time i'm going to do just a little bit actually yeah yeah um we'll do a little bit here and here and here and let's see right there be careful with your glue placement if you use tombow because again part of it hangs off the edge right um sarah yeah i you can breathe oops i probably did that too high you can breathe on your stamp but you don't have to it works fine just without it um, even if you breathe on it it still looks washed out that's why i do it twice on the stamp stamparatus all right two layers for our wreath and if i wasn't making a video i would take a clear block and i would set that on there and give it a couple minutes to dry but we're going to keep going we're going to keep going because we're almost done and I'm already keeping you guys past time. All right, now let's get our many dimensionals and start putting our little hearts all around. Um, it depends on how close you put your hearts, um, whether you can get all of them on here or not. The first time I could get all but one. And then today I could only get... Um, eight out of the 10, how many are there? One, two, yeah, eight out of the 10. So with your placement, think about that. Um, let's see, here's purple. I'm trying to go in color order. That mango looks awfully similar, awfully close to that yellow. I hope I use the right ink refill. <laughs> I've never done that before and I'm always worried. I'm gonna use the wrong ink refill color on an ink pad. Have any of you ever done that? I have a friend whose sister did it and she, believe it or not, rinsed out the ink pad with her inner sink, completely rinsed all the ink out. And then see, I'm gonna run out of room. So I'm gonna leave that other yellow one out. Um, and then re-inked it with the right color and it was fine. Crazy, right? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not saying do that, but I'm just saying that's what I've heard. Kay. I don't know if Kay's on here. She's the one that told me that. Hey, um, Kristen, it's the arrange, arrange a wreath bundle. All right, so now let's see. I believe we are dry. Our box lid. And we can put that. So we've got to get all that cello stuff tucked in. And we can put that on there. Like that. And we'll use our stamp and Seal Plus right here and we will put this guy on here like that but wait we can't leave it without a bow especially when we have this adorable magenta madness ribbon this is the in color ribbon these are great ribbons really lightweight ties beautifully and a glue dot all right now you guys next week put that right there Ta -da. So next week, I don't, I don't know. I had something in mind for us to do next week, but the following, what day? The following one, two, three, Tuesday is the holiday catalog. I don't know if we should do holiday catalog stuff next week or if we should do something else. Hmm. All right. I'm going to think about it. I'm gonna think about it because I hate to show you guys things when you can't order them if you want them, you know? So maybe we'll wait until the following Friday to do holiday catalog. All right, here's what we did. We made a fall wreath, 
a fancy fold wreath card, and a happy heart day box. Remember, you guys, over at pinkbuckaroo.com. Thanks, Debbie. I'm glad you like it. You can get the PDF. Here it is. Everything that I told you about. Oh, I forgot to tell you right here. My Club Create packages went out last week. They were the jar of flowers. Um, and I have a PDF on those projects. They're super fun. So if you would like that PDF, if you are a PDF shopper of mine, that's new in my PDF store, okay? And it has a video in it too. All right, so PDF if you need it. Everything that I talked to you about, the all-star tutorial, the jar of flowers projects, playful pets, um, holiday catalog is coming August 3rd, but I think that's actually August 4th, isn't it? I think that's wrong. Um, and then bonus days. For every $50 you spend, you get a $5 coupon. If you want me to send you a make and take kit with these three in there, make sure your order is $35 um, or more and you use that host code. And I will update this video with all the links that you need for everything, okay? All right, you guys. I'm looking at your comments. Christine says, do it. Do it. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what I can come up with. You guys have a great, great weekend. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you next week. All right. Bye, everybody.